Uh, I want to bring in Senator Tammy Duckworth of Illinois. She sits on the Armed Services Committee. Uh, Senator Duckworth, thank you so much for joining us this evening. First, I want to ask your reaction uh, to President Biden launching these retaliatory airstrikes on these Iran-linked targets, not in Iran, but in Iraq and Syria. I think the president thread the needle in terms of showing uh, the commitment of the United States to retaliating against those who might dare to uh, injure American troops abroad. Uh, I think the size of the attack that 80 plus targets using the bombers was a clear indication of our military might and our commitment to that. But also uh, he thread the needle by making sure that uh, we did not escalate this into a full blown out war first by uh, telegraphing and letting folks know that we don't want a war, but then also by attacking sites that are in Iraq and in Syria, uh, not attacking Tehran, as some of my, coll my colleagues have uh, very carelessly called for. Um, I thought that this was a good uh, first step, uh, and we'll wait to see uh, what else uh, he has in store for these folks who dare to attack U.S. troops. Senator, if you're telegraphing that you don't want a war, how much of a deterrence is that actually? Well, I think it is a real strong deterrence. I mean, you know, on one hand, we're saying, listen, we don't want to go to war, but let us show you a little, have a little taste of what we can do. Here you go, 85 targets. Um, and I think that that is part of the balancing act that we need to be engaged in right now, which is to show our determination, to show our might as the United States military, as, uh, as a nation, a leader of the free world, but at the same time also say, listen, we want peace in the Middle East. And Iran, you better get control. You better take control of your proxy groups. Uh, because they've gone out of hand. Some of your colleagues on the Republican side of the Senate uh, made clear that they want to see the Biden administration strike Iran directly. Now, there was no evidence that Iranian leadership or Iran had a direct hand in this attack on Sunday that killed these uh, three American service members. What did you make uh, of what your, your Senate colleagues, your Republican colleagues said? And, and what more would you like to see if this is just the opening salvo of what we expect, uh, expect to be a multi-phased operation? Well, I would like to see uh, uh, more sites that are uh, funding and, and um, that are sourcing the, uh, uh, these uh, terrorists uh, to come under fire. And a lot of them, there are more locations uh, other than the ones that were just attacked today. Um, but I have to say that, you know, my colleagues have recklessly beat the drums of war. Uh, uh, trying to get us on that path uh, by saying that we should be attacking Tehran. I don't think that's where we should go. And I think the president did the right thing here tonight by, again, showing our force, but also clearly making sure that we delineate uh, how far uh, we are going to go, um, but still saying we have the might to do this. You don't want to go there with the United States of America. There have been some 160, more than 160 strikes against U.S. and coalition targets in Iraq and Syria by a whole variety of, uh, of Iranian-backed groups. Uh, how linked do you see this uh, to, what, uh, to what, how the U.S. is supporting Israel in the war in Gaza? Well, I think that this is uh, uh, definitely a move by the uh, terrorists all around uh, outside of Gaza to support Hamas and what they're doing in Gaza. Um, uh, the Houthis in particular have really uh, stepped forward and, and are um, trying to win the uh, support uh, of, of other terrorist groups as well. I think that they, it is certainly linked, but at the same time, uh, Iran has the ability to control these groups uh, and they need to call these groups back. Uh, I think uh, the Hamas was allowed to do what it was doing because uh, Israel and Saudi Arabia were very close to signing an agreement, um, and it's not in Iran's uh, best interest uh, as far as their leadership is concerned to see greater peace in the Middle East. But again, we have to send the message that uh, you need to pull folks back. I mean, I think the Iranians, for example, were quite surprised when some of these forces use um, ballistic missiles, and you saw that, that they put an end to that already. So they have the ability to control these groups. Um, they, after all, have been funding them for decades. Uh, and I just want to say that, you know, uh, this is, again, a good first step, and we'll be waiting here in the, in the Senate to see what the president does next. This is the first step, as, as we've been saying. We've gotten a couple more details, Senator, uh, that this, uh, these strikes lasted around 30 minutes, just 30 minutes. This is according to the White House. Uh, the National Security Council spokesman John Kirby saying, we believe the strikes were successful. Um, they are not sure how many militants were killed or wounded, but this was... Uh, seven facilities uh, split between uh, Iraq and Syria. Uh, do you believe that, that that was forceful enough? 
Well, I think it was forceful. Um, uh, you can wreck a lot of havoc in 30 minutes. Let me just tell you, the United States military has the capacity to obliterate many things if you, you get 30 minutes to do so. But I will tell you that part of the destruction isn't just about killing the terrorists, but also about going after their storage of, of and ammunition stores, their capacity, their logistics nodes. So uh, we won't know until uh, uh, the fo next following days to see exactly what was struck. Um, but it's more about than just killing the terrorists themselves. I'm sure there will be there will be many casualties, but more importantly, that we manage to strike their ammunition stores, that we manage to strike their um, logistics capabilities. Yeah, I know we're all certainly eager to to hear from the Pentagon what their battle damage assessment is, and and uh, we'll look to see whether the Pentagon releases uh, uh, any imagery of the strikes that were carried out, and certainly what we can see ourselves in terms of uh, commercial satellite imagery. Uh, Senator Tammy Duckworth of Illinois, thank you very much for your time and your thoughts tonight. Thank you.